What is up guys? Blim here and today we have some tournament coverage. Yup. So some very very important tournaments which I am playing. So today I decided let me show you some of my tournament games which I am participating right now. Starting with the Little Cup Premier League. Most of you know me to be an Uber player and an OU player. But yeah, this LCPL or the Little Cup Premier League, this is the biggest tournament in LC. This is the biggest tournament in LC in small one. I think uh, just to consider LC as a tier, not the Grand Slam. This is the biggest tournament in LC. And for this team, I got drafted by, I got drafted by team Roly Coles. Yeah, owned by Serene Grace. Yeah, I got drafted by them and I'm going to be playing SMOU or uh, sorry, SMLC. See, I'm an OU person. I keep talking about OU and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to be playing SMLC or the Sun and Moon LC or also known as Gen 7 LC. And for week one, I got paired against this guy named Twardo. Forgive me if I pronounce the spelling wrong. So I am playing this guy Twardo. And looking at the matchup, firstly, I SMLC I had played two years back, just casually, maybe one or two games. I am not an LC player. I just know the meta. I just know the SM meta, like what this thing does. I am even I am I have the I don't have even the slightest clue in LC, like what to do, what not to do. So, but and. Coming back to my opponent, Twodo. Twodo is one of the SM's best players in LC. SM LC is one of the best players out there, yeah. And I'll, I'm going to show you some of the comments as well before we begin to the actual match, what happened. And also, one more thing, the price tag between us. So, I got drafted for 3K only, 3,000. I got drafted for 3,000, 3K. And Twodo, he got drafted for 22.5K. Yeah, so this is, this is the condition of both of us, yeah. I am the one of the cheapest players in this tour. I am one of the cheapest players in this tour for 3k. Meanwhile, Trodo is one of the most expensive players in 22.5k. Let me show you some of the comments like the predictions and stuff. So here, <laughs> so here, let me turn on the Discord notification. So here, uh, it's SM Trodo. Kind of obvious, yeah, because I no one has ever seen seen me playing SMLC and SLC firstly, and then again SMLC. Then here, there is a comment. Trodo is simply too tall to lose. Yep. And I knew that I have no chance. Still, 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 still. I know how to play Mons, right? I know, I just know that how to play Mons. Regardless of whoever is standing at where, whoever is standing where, I'm going to do my best and let's see how it goes. So this is the match which I had. I will try to zoom in a bit. Versus Toro. This is the match. And looking at the matchup. So firstly, this LC analysis, I had, I was just blank looking at the matchup. I had no clue like what to do and what not to do. I, ju I, ju was, I just knew that this Clampol was a giant threat. If it gets up a shell smash, it's going to sweep me. Because I know this gets an item, something deep sea rock or something, it gets an item. And I was so, I mean, I was so scared that I didn't even check the analysis of this one. Like what it does. And I decided to just to play along and let's see what happens. I was just scared that this Clampol has some item called deep sea rock or something. And if it gets up a shell smash, it gets shell smash. Yeah, I know that. If it gets a one shell smash, I'm gonna just lose on spot. Yeah. And looking at the my game plan, I see that I see that uh, his team is kind of weak to my Abra. His team is kind of weak to my Abra. So my game plan was gonna be with my Abra. And to go for game with Abra, I have to do something. Firstly, I have to take down this one, this Diglet. This Diglet can it's faster than my Abra. It will beat down my Abra. So then this Bullaby, I need some chip on this. If it's Eviolite, I need to knock off the Eviolite. And if it's Juice, then I need to get at least one Rock Chip on this to kill it with Abra. And then this Fawniard. This Fawniard was a huge threat. This Fawniard was a gigantic threat to my team. Because I know that only I have one check to the Fawniard and that is my Mianfu. And Mianfu's Eviolite, it gets knocked. Regardless of how much better you play, your Eviolite is going to get knocked off at a certain point of time. And then, yeah, Fawniard will just destroy my team. Abra is going to die. Magneton is going to die. Diglett smashed. Onyx can take a hit, but yeah, he has rocks and stuff, yeah, and he should be, f I don't know how much speed it runs, yeah, and yeah, my Vallabi can't do anything back to the Ponyard, it's gonna take Iron Head and probably get chipped off, so yeah, let's just start, I think I predict him to lead off with the Mianfu, I think I lead off with the Mianfu as well, now, yeah, first now basics, fake out, fake out, knock, 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 knock is gonna happen, yeah, he knocks, I win the speed tie here, I also again, and I, I was not sure whether this is a speed tower, whether he's running negative speed, me and I was not sure because, yeah, I was faster than this me and I think it's, it is running max bulk or something, negative speed, I don't have no clue what this is running, but I know that this is a bulky me and Yeah, 
and now I have to go for the U-turn here. Don't want to go for a high jump kick and get trapped by the Diglett. I go to my Vallabi here. He goes for the U-turn as well. I think now he has a free switch to his Yapon here. This is a giant problem to be done. He should get good. He gets up the rocks, I think. Yep. Gets up the rocks. I think I go for the knock, predicting the fungus. Yeah, I pick the fungus and go for the knock. Now I have to pick a sleep fodder. Or he doesn't. Okay, he switches out. Predicting. Now I think I go to my Onyx. I think Onyx or my Magneton, I think. Yeah, because I couldn't go to the Magneton. Sorry, Magneton. I keep mispronouncing this. I don't play this. Sorry, pardon me. I can't go to my Magnemite because if he pulls up the U turn to his Diglett, basically I'm a dead Magnemite. So I think I have to pull a double to my Onyx here. He goes for the turn. I think I get up, get him up. I get him up. For sure, I get him up. Yeah. Now I think I have to pick a sleep fodder. So, but I think he goes for the drain or something. He doesn't go for the sleep. He goes for the drain on my Magnemite. And judging by this damage, he's he now knows that I am not Evalite because 31% to a Magnemite from this weak one, it does a lot. So th at this point he knows I am not Evalite. Still I have my best place to go for the flash can. I don't know why he, why he would ever click the sludge bomb. I had no freaking clue why he would ever click the sludge bomb. Because Giga Drain is the freest move versus my team. Sludge bomb hits what? Just tell me one thing. What does sludge bomb hit and Giga Drain doesn't hit? I think this was a giant misplay. In case he predicts my Vallabi, I was never going to go to the Vallabi. So yeah, this was a giant misplay from his part. He should have never clicked the sludge bomb. Then he pulls a double to his this giant threat and now I have to pick a sack. I think I sack my... No, actually, okay, let me just skip ahead. Let me tell you what my thought process was. I have no clue, right? I had, uh, yeah, this turn, right? Yeah. The thing is, I thought that Vallabi takes 25-25. It's going to uh, get 25-25 from rocks and it's going to get the berry boost and my, I'm going to be back to full. But sadly, that was not the case in LC. I had no clue that we take the less rocks damage. <laughs> Guys, I know, I know, I had no clue coming what happened what i had no clue of the lc calves as well yeah so i thought that i was gonna get my berry boost after getting the rocks and i'm gonna get back to full but sadly that was not the case he goes for the iron hand and obliterates my volabi <laughs> my volabi was now i go to the main fight i think i go for the turn just go for the iron i go for the turn and now here is one thing i was debating going to my diglet and trapping it but i but uh is he if he suckers and if he kills my diglet i lose a spot yeah so I didn't want to risk any sort of mind games. I thought that Onyx will be my best player because my Onyx is faster than the... My Onyx should be faster than this because it is showing 16 speed and uh, my is showing 17 speed. So I thought that my Onyx will be faster than, than this. So I go to my Onyx. But he makes a really good play to his Vallabi, I think. And I thought that... I thought that he might stay in and try to go for Iron Head. This is why I didn't go for the prediction on the Vallabi. And it wouldn't kill because he has the juice. Now I think he pulls the... He pulls a double to the mean for this was a really good play on his end. Now I have to pick one more sack. Yeah. My Onyx is needed, so I didn't want to sack my Onyx so early. I think I sacked my Magnemite because Magnemite wasn't doing much. And this point it's looking dire. Just look, it's looking dire. Main for knocked off chipped. Sturdy broken. 4-4v2 four, four lead. Yeah, I had no hope. I knew that, yeah, the predictions were all correct. I had no hopes. Now, one thing is that now I can trap this Mian Fu. Yeah, I didn't calc. I didn't calc because I was just mad. Just let me make a small calc. How much does Diglett do? I'm pretty sure. I think I calc. Offensive Trapper, Mianfu, Custom Set, Evalite is knocked off. Earthquake does 50 to 65. Yeah, yeah. So I decided to go with my gut and I think I... Yeah, I had to get my Groundium. Yeah, and kill this off. Because Groundium is going to kill it. Earthquake is not going to kill it. It's max uh, HP and defensive stuff. Yeah. Now he goes to this. Now I think I pull a double to my Onyx on his U-turn. I think I pull a double. To, yeah. Now here he basically gets one more kill with his Diglett. Yeah. He basically gets one more kill. My Onyx isn't living it a day of his life. And yeah. Now I am pretty sure my Diglett is going to be faster than this. Not sure. Or I even if I was not sure, I had to risk the speed tie here. Yeah, I had no other play. So yeah, I get the... Yeah, he was not max speed because judging from his me and for calc, I, I was not sure. In case he was max speed, still I won the speed tie. So yeah, now he goes to this, now I pull up the final gambit, yeah, I pull up the, because Diglett has done his job, I pull up the final gambit, and now it is basically mind games, it's basically mind games, now, but I, I get a free kill here with my Abra, I think I go for the Gleam, now, now it's time for Blim's God Mode, now, it times, now it's time for Blim's God Mode, the guy, my original, the my original, my Blim, original Blim, he had won 8 50 /50 Sucker Punch in SPL, so now it's my turn. So yeah, now God Mode is back. I pick the Sucker Punch. I doubled hard, doubled my Mianfu. Now here, the thing is, 
I could never go for high jump kick here. Let me tell you why. I go for high jump kick. He goes to his fungus. Then he gets up a free spore. He gets up a free slow spore. Then he goes to this clamper. He sets up a shell smash and swoops me. Yeah, basically I'm dead. So I couldn't never go for the high jump kick here. So I think I go for the U-turn on his iron idea. I go for the U-turn on my Abra. Here also, I knew he's gonna go for the sucker punch. This is why Blim's God mode is back. I pull a double to my main info again. He goes for the sucker punch. And now I calped it. I calped it. I calped. Yeah, I calped. Ladies and gentlemen, I calped. So, Cornyard. It's LC. Choice carve. Yeah, bring this choice carve. See, it does. Uh, Eviolite is not there. This is my set. There is no Eviolite. So, Iron Head does 41 to 54. And I think I was just out. Yeah, I was in 55. Yeah, basically he can't kill my main foe. And again, I go for the U-turn here. He doesn't get the flinch. If he got the flinch, I would have broken my computer. I tried really hard to pull this up. And now basically it's dead game. But here, here, here. Here is a giant problem. This is the biggest threat to my team. It gets one item called Deep Sea something. It gets it. Yeah. And I lose hella bulky. Let me make the calc just. So, let me make the calc. Abra, focus sash. And this is Clample, shell smash. So, I am not life up. So, the bulky clamper it gets. Let me make this an Eviolite. Deep sea tooth. Let me make this Eviolite in case. It uh, gets a deep sea something. I was not sure of the calc. Eviolite. It does 57, 57 to 71. In case this was some Eviolite stuff, I had no clue. But I was pretty sure this was. Uh, I was pretty sure that this was the deep sea item. Yeah, the deep sea rock. Yeah, I was pretty sure this was the deep sea rock. So, but still. I am packing the tech, guys. I am packing the tech. Here I go for the energy ball. And here someone makes a comment like, the slam clam is here. The slam clam is here and the slam clam is gone. Slam clam is here, slam clam is gone. Yeah. Now, yep. And Abra is going to obliterate the fungus. Evalid is knocked off. And yep. This is why. This is how I won my lcpl game blimp plays lc very funny but yeah the predictions yeah all wrong sorry guys sorry for your predictions the predictions were wrong but week one i'm taking it back so this is gonna be my lc game now let's move on to another tournament we are back with more blt action we are back with more blt action i wanna go with wait let me uh blt week two right let me go with my blt week two as well i wanna share my blt not just win i wanna share my loss as well so let me see if I have my BLT week 2 match. I want to do my BLT week 2 narration as well. Let me see. Yeah. That match was so bad. No. Is it private? Uh, 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 uh. No, not this. Not this. Not this. Not I4. Yeah, this one. This is my BLT. First, let me go to the BLT week 2. So for BLT week 2, this actually this match is so long, I didn't want to narrate it. I will do this in high speed and I will go to the crucial turns. So this was my BLT week 2 match versus 7U912. And I was playing Ubers in BLT week 2. I will tell you the crucial turns. So just and I will discuss a small matchup. Discuss the matchup in small. Firstly, the thing is rocks. Yeah, rocks is a giant problem for my team. And he has this Necrozma. Rocks Necrozma is a giant problem for my team. So um, I have defog on my hoe. And he has a pressure Eternators, yeah. And Eternators is always going to come in on my hoe and he's going to pressure stall me and he's going to get rocks on the field. Rocks is a big problem because my chance is going to get chipped, my Eternators and the boot is going to get chipped, my Necrozma is going to get chipped and he's, I think his YV has knock off so my hoe can get knocked off. If YV, my YVs can get knocked off and it's going to be bad. My game plan was to go for go with my Zygarde, yeah. Because this Eternators, it has only 8, uh, eight Dynamax Cannons, yeah. If I stall his Dynamax and he just loses on spot to Zygarde. So my game plan, first game plan was to go for game with Zygarde and one more thing. I have Souls Dance on my Necrozma. That was my plan B, to go for game with my Necrozma. <laughs> with the YV, yeah, I think my Eternity is always going to come in on this YV. He goes for the knock, I think I go for the recover now. He goes for the rocks, yeah. Let's just play along, he's trying to go for the flamethrower, I get a burn off on this, yeah. Just playing along, yeah, playing along, playing along, playing along. He goes to Xerneas, yeah. And now, one thing I will tell is that when I went to my Zygarde and he goes to his Xerneas, I was pretty sure that this was a defensive Xerneas. Max defensive Xerneas and my Zygarde was not going to do anything to that. Basically, my plan A was gone. 
my only plan B was there was to go for SD, go for SD uh, with my necrozma and try to proceed from there. But yeah, he, and now this Y, this uh, YV, he revealed foul play. Yeah. So my game plan was basically kind of over. So my only, my, then I switched to plan C. My plan C was to keep this YV low and then pull up an SD and then try to, after this YV dies, then I could do something with my necrozma. That was my plan C. Now here, I think I find out that this was a defensive, yeah. This, I go for the 1000 waves and it took 16% from 1000 waves. This is max, actually max defensive Xerneas, so basically, yeah. I play along, playing along. This is a very long game, so just, yeah, I didn't want to upload this because this is a very long game. I am going for the SD, I am trying to, here, one thing is that whenever I go for the SD, right, he is forced to go for the foul play with his YV. And I have Eternator's pressure, so I was trying to pressure stall his, pressure stall his foul plays, because after this foul plays get over, then my, this Necrozma can put in work. So every time I am making the correct predictions and I am trying to stall it. But yeah, whenever he's going for the rocks, I have to go to my hoe and defog and he's getting the Necrozma, sorry, Eternator's pressure. He goes for 1000 arrows, I go for the foul play, I think he goes for one more sub, I go for the Toxic, but he predicts me. Go for the 1000 arrows, yeah, I think I go for the Roost here on the Eternator's, yep. He goes for the Toxic, no. Why we, yeah, now yeah. So, okay, I won't talk much because... I will tell you the crucial turns. Let's skip, skip, skip. This is a 200 turn replay. See, I stalled the foul play. Two more pieces of the foul play here. He's forced to go for the moon blast. Yep. Eternators. Now I think I pull up this SD again. He's forced to go for the foul play. I took take two more foul play PPs. I'm taking his foul play PPs. That is my game plan here as of now. Yeah. Because my Zygarde isn't winning. He has a max defensive Xerneas and I can't do anything to the Xerneas. Yeah. I go for the toss. Yeah, I think I pull a double to my... I was looking for a chance to go to my... He goes for the toxic, I think, here. No, he doesn't. This reveals toxic. This is toxic. I think it I'm trying to take his flames for PP. Yeah. Now, okay. Let me tell you. That was the step one. This YV is poisoned. But alas. Yup. He has a therapy on the Zern. Alas. Still, still, still. I am taking his foul play PPs. Little by little, I'm taking his foul play PPs. Yeah. Goes for the rest. Yeah. Again, I take two foul play PPs. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I'm playing really well. I, again, I take... Okay, I decided to get my father form. Yeah, father is back. Here, I again take... Yeah, knock up. I'm taking his PPs from the YV. But here, again, he's stealth rocking me. He's taking my defog PP as well. Yeah. Mm. We're taking PPs. PP, 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 PP taking. But there is a point of the time where I fall back a lot. Lord, is this, yeah, this is the time I fall back a lot. Go for the foul play. Goes for the tail. He misses. He goes for the sub, and now here I'm in giant trouble. Here I'm in gigantic trouble. He goes for the arrows. I go for the foul play. Goes for the tail. Now he gets yeah dragged to my chancy. Yeah, he will always foul uh, detail me. Yeah, okay, this is good. Now he goes for the DD. Now here I'm in giant trouble. Yup, and now my eternator is gone. That means this foul play stalling would be a lot difficult now. I have no switches for the YV. This just a mountain crashed on me here. I was no freaking clue. I thought that his Zygarde was going to sweep me. Yeah. But he switches out. He misses the detail, luckily. Misses the detail, but it wouldn't matter because my YV was healthy. And yeah, I had my own Zygarde to set up on it. He was never beating my Zy my Zy father from because we are max defense. So that didn't matter much. But yeah. He goes for the flamethrower. I go. I think I pull a double to my... Yeah, my Eternatus is dead. I am really in a back foot now. Yeah. But I will show the crucial turns. He goes for the flamethrower. I think I go for the sun. Yeah, Moonlight, I have to keep my Mon healthy. <coughs> yeah, I think my... I decided to get aggressive, as I said, right? When it needs me to get aggressive, I will get aggressive. I go for the foul play. Now his vibe is kind of low. His vibe is kind of low. Now, the thing is, he cannot go... Yeah, now, yeah. This is the point of time. This was the most crucial turn. I predict him to go to the YV here. I predict him to go... I will make this normal. I predict him to go for the YV. It's toxic. And after... Yeah, see... And I made this low. Now my Necrozma will put in work. He is forced to switch here. He is forced to switch here. Yeah. He is forced to switch here. He cannot stay in AR. I think I go for the Sunsteel Strike again. Yeah. I predict he is not going to go for the foul play. And now this is the most crucial turn. This is the most crucial turn here. Now. I go for the SD. I go for the SD. Yeah. He goes to the Zygarde. No, no, no. Not. He yeah. Very crucial turn. He goes for the Zygarde. He goes for the DD. His YV is low. His YV can't come in. He goes for the DD. I go for the SD. I go for the SD, but I have to switch here. I have to switch here. I cannot stay. I have to switch here. Okay, I go for the Sunsteel Strike. It does a lot of damage. 
he goes for the detail takes rock chip yeah he takes helmet chip yeah this zygarde is basically dead i go to my yv and he has to is he gonna go to his i think he's gonna keep this no it doesn't make sense in stacking this go for the foul play this is one turn sleep he's sleeping there for i think i pull a double to my necrozma yep sleep talk i think he gets the rest or the moon blast he go oh shit he gets the moon blast i think i go for the sd now he goes to the therapy but no use going for the therapy i go for the sd okay now i think i go for the sd sure now i think i go for the sd yeah now this is the most crucial turn i go for the sd now see what happens out of every turn he goes to the zygarde he sacks the zygarde okay zygarde now he's he goes back to uh, his yv i think he goes for the foul play here i think he goes for the foul play yeah he goes for the foul play now again this is a free toxic for me this is a toxic for me again i got it yeah this zygarde is gone this zygarde was a giant threat his zygarde is gone yeah now i start making the aggressive plays yeah yeah he's trying to keep it low i think i pull a double to my hoe or oh, yv yeah he goes for the i think i become aggressive here again i think i pull an aggressive double to the i i said i have to become aggressive i think i pull a double or i go for the roost maybe yeah i think here i go for the sd or the sunsteel maybe yeah here is the most crucial turn i think oh my god this turn i just want, don't want to see it here i go for the sd and this is a speed of eternators it's just gonna get it, this earthquake i have earthquake yeah sd earthquake is gonna kill 10 eternators at once this is a speed of eternators i calc it he goes for the flamethrower and no he gets the burn on the flamethrower and after this eternator is gone my zygarde is gonna destroy him my zygarde plus necrozma is gonna destroy him because every time my necrozma comes on the xerneas and it's, it's a 50 50. yeah he goes to the yv if i get up an sd or if i make it low it's toxic as well every time i pull a dub double on my uh, necrozma to his xerneas he picks one more and his ditto can't do anything back to me because we are max defense and my ho is completely walled by his uh, my ho his transform data will be completely walled by my ho yeah this was so huge this was so huge i mean come on man come on such a bad matchup so hard plays i make and then yeah he gets the burn and now still 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 i don't give up that easily i kept playing kept playing i kept on i kept the pressure on i kept the pressure on i kept the pressure on yeah i wasn't giving him a bit of space yeah kept the pressure on yeah now playing along playing i will show you one more turn where i got back hope i could have won from there again i will get to that turn. let me skip just playing along playing along playing along i wasn't giving giving him any space i had the full control of the game <laughs> Gear is playing along i wasted sacred fire pps now again let me show you the turn get back okay hit throws yeah yeah this is the turn he goes to his zernius i go to my predict yeah, he can't go to his yv because it he didn't go to his yv i think yeah he was kind of low on foul play as well he has just two foul plays left i think i go for the sd yeah now yeah here i predict him here i predict him not to go for the foul play i think here i predict him to stay in no no not this turn not this turn wait wait not this turn there is the turn let me get to that let me get to that there is that turn i predict him and yeah something big really happens in that turn actually this replay is so big i forgot yeah i'm trying to waste his pps and stuff i i get this yv low as well mm. let's get to that turn let's get to that turn uh one more last turn one more last turn yeah this this is stuck yeah here i predict him to go to the eternators now i think i go to my necrozma i predict the eternators and i think i go for the sd here now this was a free kill for me and again he burns my necrozma he burns my necrozma again with the flamethrower oh my god oh my god oh my god yeah i just yeah and at this point i couldn't win anymore yeah this was just yeah this part i kind of gave up two flamethrower burns this was not even sacred fire he got two flamethrower burns he would have got swept so yeah still 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 i tried i tried yeah hmm. Hmm. so yeah this was my week two game really unfortunate game i think i played this just amazingly but still can't do anything he got two flamethrower burns and now i will go to my current week three game vlt we are playing uh celestealers we are playing the celestealers and i am facing saba saba is a really really nice opponent he's a really really good guy 
And this guy was also Lugia was, I think it is L U G I A or something, something. This guy was also a really decent guy, really nice guy. So, yep. Now, uh, this is the game which I had versus him. Looking at the matchup, he has zero switches to Kyogre. My Kyogre is a Specs Kyogre. He has zero switches to the Kyogre. So, my game plan was gonna be to bring my Kyogre as much as possible and try to chip it down. So, yeah. <laughs> Annoying music. He leads up with a Lunala. I think I go for the Toxic because. Uh, let me tell you why I went for the toxic. I know the status move was coming. He doesn't have a single heal bell user. Yeah. So I think that toxic will always let him to stay out of his shadow shield. And I was always willing to trade status v status because my chance he has aromatherapy. Yeah. He makes a really good double play here and goes for one more T wave. I will make this fast forward. Yeah, fast. Now, yeah, I keep doubling, keep defogging on the rocks. Yeah, he goes for the knockoff. She shows the taunt. Yeah. Now I will show you the crucial turns. Yeah, this is playing along. Ubers is like this only. Very annoying long, long games. Yeah, Ubers is the worst head you can play. Gen 8 Ubers is the worst head you can play. There is nothing, creativity, all the same stuff. Stall, stall, stall. Yeah, bulky, bulky, fat, fat. Yeah, a lot of patience and here. Yeah. Playing, 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 playing. Yeah. Nothing. So here, I was trying to bring my Kyogre as much as possible. So here I bring my Kyogre. I go for the... Origin Pulse and it does 44. This is a max speed of Eternators. Yeah, found out this is a max speed of Eternators. I go to my Chansey. This gives me a free port. So my Kyogre, I'm going. Water Sport does a lot of damage, but he gets a free recover. Uh, at early game, I didn't want to make predictions. He, I wanted to scout his set. I found out. Now, I scouted his set with my Ditto. And I found out this was uh, Flame. This was uh, Recover, Cosmic Power, uh, Meteor Beam, and Dynamax Scan. I think it was a set. Yeah, Recover, Cosmic Power, Meteor Beam, and Flame Sword. I think, or Dynamax Scan. Something was the set. Yeah. But yeah, and it, it was completely walled by my, uh, this, this and Chansey, yeah, Chansey has confided, so it's not going to do anything. So here, I was trying to bring my Kyogre in on, yeah, I, sc yeah, I scouted the Lunala set, Lunala has only Ice Beam, yeah. Now, yeah, just playing along, scouted the Ditto set as well, yeah, and now I am throwing T-Waves. Here was a very important turn, here was a very important turn, let me get to, he brings his Kyogre on my YV. I was 100% sure he's going to go for the Water Spout here. Because if he goes for the Origin Pulse, it's not going to kill my Chansey. It's not going to tweet kill my Chansey. This is why, God play number one, I go for the Sucker Punch. Yep, it does a lot. Yeah, and his Water Spout is weakened. I think I go for the Teleport. Yeah, I keep going for the Teleport because, yeah, his YV can't do anything to me. I was not going to take a T-Wave. Yeah, I was planning to bring in my, uh, bring in my Kyogre whenever possible. I think here I bring the Kyogre for sure. Yep, I throw off the Ice Beam predicting return. Now he's forced to switch out. Yeah. And he pulls a really good double, but yeah, I was, th at this point I was reading him, like what plays he is making, I was reading him. This Lunala is gonna die, this Lunala is, if he stays in, it's gonna die. Yeah, here, here I knew he was gonna sack the Lunala, trying to throw off the desperation, desperation T-Wave, so I go to my Ditto. He goes for the, yeah, I go for the Roost, yep. Slowly, slowly chipping his team, this was my game plan, right, I always say stick to your game plan. My game plan was to chip him down, I go for the Ice Beam again, I knew he was gonna pick to switch to his O. He goes for the Secret Fire, I go to my Ditto. And basically, at this point of time, yeah, I keep, let me make this normal, because at this point of time, it was kind of over. So, let me make this fast, and see, uh, see how I bring in my Kyogre, predicting all the doubles. I read him now, but yeah, I predict all the doubles, yeah. I kind of predict all the doubles and bring my Kyogre and chip him down. <coughs> yeah, I, this is a free T-Wave from me, this is a free, the freest T-Wave, yeah. Now, again, I get a free Kyogre. Get a free Kyogre, I think. Oh no, I predict. Yeah, I sorry, I underestimated myself. I predict the Eternators and go for the free T-Wave. My Kyogre is back. Yeah, now it's a free kill for me. I don't need to Ice Beam. Free kill for me. He sacks his Kyogre. He has to go to YV. YV is faster, so yeah, he goes to Eternators. I think I go to my Eternators. Yep. I think I pull a double to my Chansey to court. Oh, Kyogre, I was getting aggressive. Yeah, I predict him again to switch. Yeah, Kyogre picks one. Eternators, I think I pull a double to my Chansey to port on the Necrozma. Okay, not bad, not bad. I think I pull a double to my Kyogre again on the Ho. Yeah, he is forced to make one more sack. He sacks the Ho and basically at this point of time, I have SD Necrozma which, which is gonna defeat him, yeah. Uh, here, he is trying to go for the Cosmic Power, yeah. But yeah, it won't be much avail because yeah, Max PDF, you are not gonna Necrozma has a beastly attack. So, and he's T-waved as well. The Cosmic Power and Earthquake is gonna obliterate this. Yeah, and yeah, this is gonna be my week three game. The week two game was really unfortunate. I would have, I should have won the game. This game I should have hundred percent won, except the two flamethrower burns. And with this was my week three game, a really well played game. I my game plan was go with the Kyogre, and I executed it with perfection. Yep, 
so this is gonna be my blc game and my lc game versus twardo my week two game versus 7u912 and my week three blc game versus sabar sabar really nice opponent so th shout out for being nice and also sh uh, shout out to einscrad for the team i made some changes to the team this team was a bit different i made some changes but shout out for the initial idea yeah this is my first time using kyogre yeah and it's really a uh, good so this will be my series of tournament games versus Tuado versus Seven U and versus Saba. Yep. So guys, everyone, tournament coverage and expect more showdown lives in my next vids. So this is gonna be it for today, guys. Sub road to one k, guys. Road to one k. Smash the sub button. Bye bye. Take care and stay safe from your guy. Flim. Bye bye, guys.